Oh, hey! You guys know what a cow with no lips says? <laughs> hey, this is Ted and Dairy Farmer, and welcome to Ask a Farmer. You want answers, and I got questions, all right? Happy Independence Day, everybody. Let's see what's in the mailbox this week. <laughs> Dear Tim, what is the perfect time during the 4th of July fireworks to lean in for a kiss? Man, that's a good question. Now listen, if it's your wife or significant other, I would do it before the show even starts because they don't want you bothering them again during the show. Now if it's a new love interest, you need to do that right at the end of the finale. Keep them fireworks going, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, yeah. Now listen, if it's somebody you don't know, you need to do that right at the start of the finale. That way, everybody is distracted. Oh. Here's a pretty one. Let's see. Dear Tim, I'm supposed to bring a vegan friendly dish to my friends for the 4th of July picnic. Any suggestions? Well, first of all, I didn't know vegans had friends. Now, as far as what to take, I would take animal crackers. It ain't meat, but it's the thought that counts. Alrighty. Tim, on the 4th of July, our family likes to grill hot dogs. What part of the pig are they made from? Yes. Fine, oh, this one's from Charlie K in Wisconsin. Dear Tim, have you ever heard the phrase, you didn't celebrate the 4th of July unless you lost a finger? Three times, Charlie. Three times. From Ricky T in South Dakota. Tim, I did a practice run with a Roman candle and hit my fertilizer shed. Now I don't have a fertilizer shed. What happened? Well, Ricky, fertilizer has ammonia nitrate in it, or what I like to call boom poop. Well, that's all the mail this week. Remember, if you keep writing, we'll keep milking it. I gotta go because my sister-in-law is coming over and she's a real dud. Happy 4th of July, everybody.